Good Christmas morning to you. We have nonstop news to top the, at the top of the hour, even weather to help plan your day. New this morning, three people escaped without life-threatening injuries after a rollover accident Thursday night near the site of the fatal accident that claimed the lives of two teenagers earlier this year. The Minnesota State Patrol says that the vehicle was traveling eastbound on Interstate 94 near Dalton, Minnesota at mile marker 67 when the driver reached down for something, looked up, hit rumble strips on the side of the road, then overcorrected and rolled the vehicle. All parties were treated and released at the scene near mile marker 68, just a short distance away is where 18-year-old Zachary Kavalvog and 14-year-old Connor Kavalvog were killed on June 23rd on their way to a basketball tournament. 18-year-old Jimmy Morton was also seriously injured in that crash. A woman fled on foot after trying to rob the Scandia Hotel in downtown Fargo tonight, last night. Fargo police say a woman walked up to the front desk of the hotel, demanded money, but did not display a weapon. After the worker told her no, she fled on foot with nothing. After fleeing the scene, the woman got into a tan minivan or an SUV type of vehicle. Stick with ValleyNewsLive.com for updates on this developing story. A new strain of the norovirus, which causes nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, has made its way to the valley. Minnesota Department of Health officials say at least 20 cases of people being sickened by the strain have been reported. Since people, have, since people travel between North Dakota and Minnesota here often, your chances of getting it are increased. An infectious disease doctor at Sanford Health tells us the best way to avoid getting this virus is simply by staying hydrated. The most important thing uh, you need to do is keep yourself hydrated um, because what happens with more nausea and vomiting and diarrhea is that you lo lose plenty of fluids. So, so the best thing you can do for yourself is to keep yourself hydrated. Check out this story on valleynewslive.com for more ways to make sure you and your family don't get sick. And now it's time for weather. Robert, what's going on over there? Not a whole lot right now, but that will change as we head through the overnight hours. Taking a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Skycam. A few folks out and about on this Christmas morning and roads in great shape outside of the neighborhood streets that still have a, sl a few slick spots, but that'll be changing later tonight and through the uh, first half of your Saturday. We'll show you that here in just a moment. 23 right now feels more like 16 here in the Fargo-Moorhead area with winds light out of the east and the southeast. Temperatures elsewhere across the region, a mix of some teens and some 20s. You factor in those light winds and for the most part, we've got wind chills in the single digits and teens and you get down the system, and a little cooler there, a little pocket of clear air making its way through there, a little colder with uh, some breezes around making it feel like minus two. Clouds, we've got them. We'll continue to see cloudy skies as we head through the day today, and there's that little pocket of clear air making its way through the uh, far southern valley. A few isolated flurries, not out of the question as we head through the uh, day today, but the best chance for that will be this morning as we zoom on out to the uh, northern plains. There is some patchy, dense fog out in southwest center, south central and southwestern portions of North Dakota. Dense fog advisory in effect from Bismarck out towards the uh, Dickinson area. Keep that in mind if head, heading that way. It is creating a few slick spots as well as reducing visibilities. A lot of rain, flooding rain across the southeastern U.S. It's going to continue as we head through the next several days. Also a chance of some severe weather over the next couple of days in parts of that region. For us, quiet for much of your Christmas day. We might see a few flakes of snow falling from time to time. And as we head through the uh, overnight hours tonight, watch as the uh, storm Makes its way on up from the south to the north across the region. That will give us that chance for some snow. And then we'll be approaching the Fargo-Moorhead area in the wee hours of the morning. And it's going to stick around until, oh, probably mid-late afternoon here in the Fargo-Moorhead area. And that's going to pinwheel its way off toward the east. Now, this is not set in stone. This could still shift a little bit or slow down or speed up. Keep that in mind. And that will affect any snowfall amounts. Right now, it looks like one to four inches of snow here in the Fargo-Moorhead area in Point South. Three to six in the far southern portion of the valley. An inch or less Grand Forks dry in the Devil's Lake Basin. Winter weather advisory for our far southern valley for those three to six inch amounts. We're also going to see some breezy conditions along with that snow. Today in the 20s, tomorrow falling into the low teens by tomorrow afternoon with uh, quite a bit of snow in the southern valley as we bottom out uh, after we bottom out below zero Sunday morning, only topping out around 10. Thanks, Robert. A Fargo man is spending Christmas morning in jail after he showed up to Cass County Jail last night with a stolen 
loaded handgun. 22 year old Workadoo Zoo arrived at the jail to pick up property released by an inmate. That's when deputies realized that Zoo had an active search warrant out for his arrest. While being arrested, officers found a handgun, saw it was loaded, and then determined it was stolen. Zoo remains in the Cass County Jail on possession of a firearm in a correctional facility, possession of a stolen handgun, and the, also a variety of other charges. It's Friday. Time to take a look now at this week's Valley's Most Wanted. Police say Noel Caffey Jr. is wanted for probation violation, possession of a controlled substance, and shoplifting. Call your local law enforcement if you have any information on Caffey. An ice boat broke through thin ice Thursday afternoon on Lake Minnetonka in Minnesota. When deputies arrived, they discovered two ice boats, each with one man on board. One boat broke through, and after a short time in the water, the porter was able to pull himself up onto a piece of ice nearby. His friend that was in the other boat picked him up from the scene. The sheriff's office urges people to stay off the ice when it does not appear to be safe. A new drug is being used at the Mayo Clinic that can help fight advanced forms of melanoma. Keytruda is an FDA-approved immunotherapy drug that enhances a patient's immune system to help fight the cancer. It's mainly been used to fight advanced forms of melanoma, but it's also been effective in patients with lung and kidney cancer. Mayo Clinic was among the first to use the drug in clinical trials, and now hundreds of Mayo patients have received the treatment. Mayo Clinic oncologist Roxana Dronka was a principal investigator for the Mayo Clinic during the drug's clinical trials. She says one in 10 patients see no trace of cancer after the procedure. Fake shipping notifications, crooks grabbing your packages off your porch, and now imposters claiming to be Santa Claus. That will steal your identity. The list of things to watch to keep watch for this holiday season keeps piling up like snow on the ground. Consumer reporters and the Better Business Bureau say someone claiming to be Santa will contact parents about sending a fake letter from the fake North Pole. Parents will give out all their information and then bank accounts are, and identities are stolen. I think it's terrible. Hey kids, make sure it's the real Santa Claus and don't send out your address or, or give away your credit cards or big piles of cash. Don't do any of that. Make sure it's the real Santa Claus, like me. Thanks, Santa. For more information about holiday scams, go to our website. That's valleynewslive.com and click on this story. With online shopping growing, the U.S. postal carriers have been busier than ever during this Christmas season. Back in August, Amazon Prime came to Fargo, which raised the number of people buying Christmas presents online. Along with the longer holiday hours, the other probable affecting delivery time for postal carriers is the weather. But mail carrier Joe Kusher says they're working hard to make sure packages arrive on time and even the hard work and extra hours is worth seeing those smiles on customers' faces. It's so much fun, especially on uh, like uh, Christmas Eve, like a day like today, when somebody's expecting a package and they're not sure whether they're going to get it or not and it shows up, uh, they're really happy and yeah, it's always a good feeling. Kusher says that he and the rest of the USPS employees work from 10 to 11 hours a day during the holiday rush. Christmas Eve has surpassed Christmas as the day that more people attend church. Christmas Eve services draws the biggest crowds of the year for many churches. Christmas Day services have dwindled one to even none for most churches, although some larger Catholic churches have a few more. I think it's a, a matter of convenience. I think families are gathering together on, on Christmas Eve and, and then um, they feel like they've had the, the opportunity to celebrate and Christmas Day is more of a time of uh, relaxing at home. And tonight on Valley News Live 10 at 10, we'll tell you what else people are now doing on Christmas Day other than going to church. It's not just people who are spreading the holiday cheer. Check out these cute little furry friends and their festive gear. It's just a reminder from vets in the area. Christmas items like poinsettia, mistletoe, and holly can be dangerous for pets if they ingest the plants. And if they do get into them, you should be taking them to an animal hospital for treatment. If you have pictures of your pets in their holiday best, 
post their picture on our Facebook page under this story. And most of us on the regular Valley Today on air crew may be off for the holiday, the Christmas holiday, but we want to go ahead and wish, wish you a Merry Christmas. It's our own version of the Fab Four, only these are some of the lovely holiday sweaters ever made. Robert, how's the weather looking out there this Christmas morning? The weather's going to turn ugly for a lot of us as we head through the overnight hours because of the chance for some significant snow. Winter weather advisory for our far southern valley. Three to six inches of snow possible there. Here in the fargo Moorhead area, one to four inches possible. Grand Forks, an inch or less. Devil's Lake Basin, going to stay dry. Take care as you travel late tonight and through the day on Saturday. Thanks, Robert. We'll see you again at noon. Have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.